Shalom everyone, Joshua here, and it is time to replace the water pump on the H3. But the first mission is, will this thing make it up to my place? Let's go. All right, so it's totally sketchy because that water pump is totally shot. And I'd hate for it to explode, but I really need to do this in my driveway. So I'm going to say all of the prayers in the mighty name of Yosha. Please, all y'all, let this get done in your name. All right, well, I'm going to try and make it to the top of the hill. And I'll get back with y'all when I'm ready. Peeps, what's the number one rule when you go to work on a vehicle when you're just a regular old DIY mechanic? You never have the right tool. You're always gonna have to go back to the store for something. And in this case, even though I got the rental fan clutch removal tool from my good pals here at Advance Auto in the commercial department, and well, both on commercial and uh, walk inside, I have great relationship with all of them, their management and everybody. But yeah, it looks like the for the GM, this is going to do the trick and not the one that comes in the plastic case. Why that is, I don't understand it, but this might just do the job. And I even had brought my micrometer along to ensure I had the accurate size. Now, back to the project at hand. I'll see y'all soon. Okay, folks. This is what's transpired. I went ahead and had to mess around with different combinations of tools to get this to work appropriately. And it did actually require a tool from each kit, the long handled wrench for the hex on the fan clutch worked great from this Ford kit actually, part number W80585. And uh, now this would probably work. You just have to loosen the bolts on the pulley down there, the, uh, the, the serpentine belt pulley side. Might loosen those and then this will slide down behind them between the heads of the bolts and the washers. Now that might actually work. I did not try that because I managed to use the larger one of these that comes in the, this particular kit. As you can see, that is down in there, right here. And of course, I have an, a breaker bar on that, and then I use that. And yes, it worked to finally break that free. So now, I am going to get the camera repositioned and show you all the rest of this buffoonery. All right, catch y'all soon. There's been a couple little debacles, of course, the whole getting the proper tool sorted for the clutch fan assembly removal. Um, and then secondly, some nonsensical stuff on the radiator shroud, uh, the fan shroud here. Uh, yeah, because somebody's already been into this project before, they've actually broken a tab, which, oh boy, now. Okay, yeah, it's still undone. I had to get a little flathead screwdriver for that, but now it should come out once I have the fan uh fan clutch assembly disconnected let's go ahead and remove that carefully you don't want to damage the radiator <clears throat> there it goes now Without smashing into the radiator. Well, yippee skippy. The shroud doesn't want to pop out because I mashed it back into place, unfortunately. On this side. There it goes. Alright. Now, what is the likelihood this far side will come out of there all swimmingly? Alright. Now, this whole kit and caboodle should kind of finagle on out of here.
Okay. Now that I've probably knocked the camera out of place. Toss that yonder on the side. And now you have pretty wide open access. And it's a case of removing these. I don't even know what size those are. No, definitely not that one. Yeah, they wanted to go metric, but I think a half inch will work. Okay, loosen that up. Yeah, as you can see, this thing's got all the wobbles to it. Oh, come on, silly. What's the more appropriate size? 13. All right, got those loose. Now it's time to remove the lay belt. And it appears that is the 3 8 size, which hopefully this tool will fit in there. And maybe I'll have enough room. goes doesn't really matter I'm just gonna drop it over here as such get that out of the way and back to this and la 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 Well, I won't bore y'all with removing four pulley bolts, so I will catch back up with y'all when I have this pulley removed. All right, there you go. Uh, come off of the O. Oh no, all the exciting. Um, well, peeps, let me see if I can. Ah, it finagled off. Just a slight little bit of corrosion. And now you have access to a water pump. And I must tell the owner that this water pump was not replaced. This water pump is the original. I mean, no question about it. This has been in here for the duration and life of this vehicle. Yeah. All right. Well, I shall get started on taking this nonsense off. And what is the appropriate size? That would be a 10 millimeter. And I'm going to utilize the short extension.
Well, I have more bolts to go. So, I am not going to record all the rest of this nonsense. I'll be back directly. So, now it's time to give that a little tolly wop. And pop it off of there. Just like that. Probably no coolant in this thing anyway. Oh yeah. That bearing is fried. Wow. You can hear it. Next step, of course, get this all cleaned up. And then once you have all this cleaned up, as I'm told, these gaskets for the new one do not require any kind of sealant. So you can just plop the gasket on, plop that new fine water pump in there, and get to reassembling. So that is that. And I will go ahead and get this cleaned up, get it put back together, and uh, I'll bring y'all along for the coolant system bleed, which is always, always so terribly exciting. All right, until then. Quick tidbit on reinstalling the water pump. You'll want to, according to the manufacturer, torque it down in a star-like fashion. Um, First go round at, what was it, 39 inch pounds, basically 40 inch pounds, and then something like 85, but you can do 90. It's not going to make a big difference, so I have my torque wrench set to 40 at the moment. Do a little roundabout, I guess I'll do it a little more starry. There you go. Just like that. And then reset this to somewhere around 90. Which in this case isn't really existent. It has 80 and 100, so bam. Yeah, we'll go right about there. Looks pretty good. Who knows? It's pretty close. Uh oh, what's up with that, peeps? Is there a stripped bolt? So this may have just gotten a whole lot more lovelier. Good to go there. There you go. Well, well, well. What do we really have going on down here, peeps? Do we really have a stripped bolt today? Totally not exciting. Not even in the least, y'all. But you wanna know what? That's exactly what a strip bolt does. It becomes a fiasco. Now what in the world would have caused that, y'all? That's what causes that. The threads inside this case cover here, this timing cover, the threads are actually stuck right there. Will that camera focus? Come on, camera. See that? That's literally aluminum threads 
from this case cover. So you know what that means. Time to go get the tap and die set. Yep. There's a little old piece of it right there. Yippee. So I'll go mess around and figure out what size this is and then do a little oversized bolt and it'll still be good to go. All the fun to follow, peeps. Well, I went through my entire bolt collection over this debacle and could not find anything. So I am just going to have to make something work and basically just re-thread a bolt to match this size because it seems to be the best that fits in through the hole on the water pump housing and then actually has made some threads inside the hole. So right now I shall remove this and then find a bolt that I can re-thread to this pattern. I'll get back with y'all directly. Well, I found a bolt. It seems to be going swimmingly here. Just sending it through. And uh, this may resolve the issue without having to go too crazy and find a unicorn or otherwise an extinct single horned rhinocera. Rhinocera! Yeah, contrary to popular belief, a unicorn is actually a one horned rhinoceros. Now, I've already done that into the shenanigans. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, and for comparison purposes, there you go. Oh, I'm liking that, y'all. I am liking that. All right, the only difference is this is an eight mil. See how it feels once I get it mated to the surface there. So far so good though, it's threading quite nicely. Oh yeah, that's gonna work y'all. Yep, absolutely. So I am still on this particular bolt going to put a little red stuff on there, just a little drop to hold it. But yeah, that's the business right there. So if you're curious as to what sizes that is, take a look here. It is the quarter inch 28 right there quarter inch 28 quarter in F 28 oh by the way this particular I think this is the Pittsburgh kit or something like that from Harbor the Freight a little quick pro tip the T handle that they give you is pretty much garbage and so I actually went to Lowe's and acquired this particular T handle which has this nifty little sliding clicky doohickey. Bam, has three positions, so you can set it to your fancy. And bada bing, bada boom, I just cut a little hole right there so I could put that in there. Done, this was a very, very helpful little addition to the kit, I just tossed out the other piece. Um, well, I didn't toss it out, it's just in my main toolbox. There you go. 
that is the shenanigans there. And then, of course, um, quarter in F28. So, it has been one bananas of a project, y'all. <laughs> All glory to the Lord for seeing me through and providing me the wisdom to be able to know what to do. And, of course, being able to source the right tools to get this job done. Because, yeah, I was getting kind of concerned about the bolt issue. That can always turn into a nightmare just because it's already tight tolerances through the housing here for the bolt to go through. And I was extremely limited. I mean, there was no way I was getting any of the M8 type stuff through there. Uh, none of this stuff. So I was just very, very fortunate to be able to use that right there. Bada bing, bada boom. And keep on rocking and rolling. So next mission, get that with a little bit of Loctite on there. Get this all put back together. Get some coolant in here. Get the system debubbled and uh get this back to the owner all right see y'all directly okay peeps i'm gonna give this a shot so as you can see i already have that large spanner behind the four bolts with the pulley up here i have the belt semi-routed it's just not around the ac compressor down there kind of just left loose for the time being but now i will attempt to insert the fan and shroud and see how that goes all right but i just recommend getting this situated prior to trying to reinstall everything all right get the camera repositioned and here we go Now, whoever was in here last time did not reseat the shroud into their mounting point, so I will now see about doing that appropriately. It needs to shift over. What is the hang up? Okay. behold maybe they actually broke something but for now we'll just see if I can get the fan clutch to start going back on which three is always exciting There we go. Not too shabby. All right, it's on there a little bit now. Let's see about getting this thing. Oh, well that explains that. I was not paying attention earlier, but apparently there's no tabs down there. Maybe they were broken off or something of the other. I don't know. So all I can do is replace it as it was brought to me, which is terrible, terrible.
done is done. Here later on I might see if I can get a zip tie to hold that from rattling around. But there you go. That part is sorted. Now it's back to reinserting, reinstalling the fan. Got it that many. Time to grab this here. Find a little sweet spot. Come on, where's the sweet spot? are spaced out holding that spanner in there I'm having difficulty finding a good angle to actually get this spanner to go down on there so that's epic always the bananas peeps always with the bananas um, so yes not terribly exciting Not terribly exciting in the least. Well, there you go. Lesson learned on that nonsense. This spanner is too thick, even with. Oi. Well, here's another something you might encounter when dealing with this project that I just experienced. Apparently, the serpentine belt got shorter. And it was an absolute fiasco to get that thing sorted. However, with some grunting and, of course, greatest above all prayers to the Lord, it got back on there. So, now all I have to do is manage to find a way to get those bolts nice and tight and uh, coolant added. And this project should be close to finished Oh yeah, here's a little couple things I did disconnect. I did take that upper radiator hose off there, and I disconnected this. And, one last thing I discovered along the way on this project earlier on, but I did not mention. Check out that hooby doo cam sensor nonsense. Yeah, I'll have to go and address that at some point soon. But for now, back to reinstalling that. I'll go ahead and just plug this in and then I can remove this. That's done. This has been the debacle of all debacles, peeps. But the finish line is in sight. All right, I'll update y'all directly. Y'all ready for this? Well, there you have it. It is not leaking, and the belt didn't fly off, nor did the fan go shredding into the radiator. So that I call a success. Thank you, Yehoshia, for real. All right, now it is time to burp the system and get this thing out of here. If I have any more um, interesting moments, with this project i'll pop a camera back on but at this point other than getting this wrapped up here in the near future this project's done so i'm just thankful the lord saw me through all this nonsense so yeah y'all can do it just remember 
you're gonna if you're a DIY mechanic and you're utilizing Mickey Mouse tools from the local stores just know you're probably gonna run into some fun trying to get the pro appropriate tools to fit that clutch fan and get that removed other than that it's all pretty straightforward as y'all saw in the video so thank y'all for tagging along through all the nonsense today because boy was that riddled with some buffoonery all right peeps take your skills help your family friends neighbors and strangers solve their problems and always give praise and thanks to Yehosha for providing repent and believe today the days are growing dark i'm out of here shalom